Welcome to you all. Um, this is our West Somerset Railway PLC vlog. Um, we're, we're reaching out to our our staff, volunteers, um, supporters, the wider community and our shareholders. We find ourselves in um, unprecedented times um, with the railway. It's uh, an unusual time and we're, we're reflecting um, through friends and colleagues on the hard work that was done to get the railway ready to reopen and it's a it's a very sad state of affairs to see the railway closed at this period in time but on reflection i just want to thank the people that have worked so hard over the winter um, to get our railway uh, in the best possible way really when you looked at how the railway was going to restart um, in march this year with the stations looking so good the the track all the work that we did in terms of um, the track works from Bishop's Lydia to Minehead, the carriage stock, the locos, the whole image of the railway was going to be one that um, certainly I was going to be very proud of and I know doubt um, the, the volunteers and staff alike and, and, and the wider community that makes our railway so special. It's interesting on reflection when we do look back and we're, we're just in a position where we're looking at our year-end accounts, exceptional um, position to be in from where we found ourselves some 18 months ago in, in such dire times. What's happened is it's proved that the um, the family has come together, it's worked and it's delivered an exceptional business and company that is able to deliver such a wonderful heritage experience but also prove that it's got a business within um, the day-to-day the, the -day activities that will allow us to prosper and allow the railway to grow over the coming years when we work through this COVID situation. Where we are today is that the COVID-19 impact on the railway is severe. There is no doubt about it, this is a, a crisis for the West Somerset Railway. We've waited until now to look to do the vlog um, and speak to you um, in, a, in a wider, honest, transparent way, because today we had to message to our staff our staff within the PLC, that it's likely that there's going to be risk to their jobs for the future. We're looking at when we can restart this railway. At the moment, it's ready. It's ready to go. It's sat in what we would call a care and maintenance time. But the main thing to do is to make sure that the railway is safe. And what's happened with the support from the communities and our shareholders is that we're able to do that. We're trying to make sure that we're in control of our finances ensure that we're compliant for when we reopen again, but also safeguard our people. That is absolutely imperative that we adhere to the rules and the guidelines set by the government. And I just wish to thank the, the, the staff and volunteers for showing great discipline over this time. We all know that we would love to be on the railway, but by you keeping away, you've played your own, a very important part in making sure that West Somerset is safe and the COVID-19 impact seems to be well controlled in, 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 our, uh, in our local area. And it's meant that you're safe. For me, it's very, very important that when we do restart the railway, that we have our people that are so special to the railway with us. And we've played our little part in that and I thank you again for doing so. The board are working hard on looking at the, the various business model um, scenarios to understand the impacts of where we are with no income. This is, this is now our best time of the year. We are a seasonal business. It's strange as I reflect sat in here at Western Supermare, looking out the window to the seaside in the very fortunate surroundings. But, you know, some exceptional weather, something that the West Somerset Railway really would have benefited from. Unfortunately, we're not able to run our railway. It's unlikely that we're gonna be able to run our railway for this season. That then means that the railway would have suffered three winters, three winters of hardship, of working through all the pain that's gone on of over nearly two years of work. But we will do it and we will do it together. And I think for me, it's proved that the, 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 the wider audience and the local audience are coming together to make sure that this vital piece of history is protected for the future. It's been exceptional to receive some of the donations that have come in from our volunteers that obviously aren't traveling to the railway, but find themselves with surplus of cash where they would normally spend their monies on fuel, for example. Small donations coming in 
of those tokens that are really adding up across the whole wide community that makes our railway. And it's exceptional to see how that's now forming part of our business strategy recovery plan. What that enables us to do is to be able to make sure that the railway is safeguarded. The railway doesn't look to take unattractive loans, doesn't go into debt and is here to restart next year. The first part is to put the railway into care and maintenance, as I said earlier. Then we work through the plan to reopen certain parts of the railway next year. It's likely that we will run again in March 2021. If anything over and above that comes in, it's a benefit. But at the moment, we work from the worst case and work backwards. But what we will do, as we've restarted doing now, is allowing certain groups to restart on the railway to protect and care for it. We've started in a small step. We understand the guidelines by the government. We've had great work through Martin Brown on our board that's put through comprehensive papers to ensure that the welfare and safe being of our staff is put at the forefront of any decision. But that's meant that we've seen the Friends of Minehead, for example, getting busy cutting the grass at Minehead. I've seen videos on Facebook this morning and it's amazing to see how quick you know, the comment was that the ink wasn't even dry on the paper, and I think that's quite right. But it's great that we'll get our row in, in, in well care and maintained fashion and order, so that when you restart your railway next year, it promotes itself in the best way. I've always been very clear as chairman that I see the West Somerset Railway as a premier line, and I'm absolutely committed with the board that we will deliver this and we will deliver your railway to the best standards and provide the best attraction within West Somerset. We have a proud railway, we have some proud people, and I'm proud to lead this railway through this COVID-19 crisis. We will do it collectively, and we will do it and deliver it in a well-professional-mannered organisation that will prosper and deliver something special for the future. As you're aware, the PLC have run a COVID-19 donation campaign and it's been exceptional um, to see the response. And I thank everyone for those people that have donated. It's, it's really, really um, amazing to see and to see some of the staff that have given up some of their, um, you know, hard money that they've worked for to help keep this railway going, for example, it, it is it's truly heartwarming. Warming. Where we go forward is that the, the campaign needs to be continually pushed. Um, we're over our 100K um, you know, message, and we look to try and raise 500,000 pounds to safeguard and promote the railway forward. What this money will enable us to do is not only stand still and protect, but it'll allow us to develop and be ready for the future. And I think there's two sides to this, that the, the railway must go into its protection stage, which we've quickly acted upon and put into. But we've got to be ready to restart. And with that, there's extra costs that will come in. And the restart costs that we're modelling now, that we're aware of, need to be covered to make sure that we can be steaming to the seaside for 2021. Your help through the donations and kind support enable us to do that. We have a direct page on our PLC website will allow you to donate. Um, it, we have been overwhelmed with the response that's come in, not only for the donations, but the kind comments that reaffirm how important the railway is. The reason we're asking you to donate through the PLC for this specific fund, and we've also encouraged the charities to look at their specific ring fence funding that is also underway for the track appeals, etc., that are also very, very important to the railway. But the PLC fund is different. The reason of this is that we're allowed to use those funds and those donations that are raised for the specific protection of the PLC. We're well aware that the charities are able to have gift fund um, benefit, but unfortunately, in the, in the nature that we wish to use these funds, we're unable to um, dispose of that funding aid. So it's important for us that the PLC fund continues um, on its projective way and it will enable us to protect the West Somerset Railway as the operator and leaseholder of the railway. OK, so as we look to close this uh, vlog, and I, I hope you felt it's, uh, it's been useful, it's certainly we enjoy our communication with you and we wish to um, improve our comms out to, to you all. We're going to end the, the, the next communication with you. We'll be delivering some exciting uh, news and messages from the year end position of March, which I think champions the 
the, the exact position of how hard the collective have worked together. And on that point, I do wish to thank again, just the hard work that goes into running our railway, the supporters, the community, the people. You really have done a, a fantastic job and through your hard work to get us to that year end position has enabled us to make decisions in a much more reformed way, ready for um, 2020 as we go through this COVID-19 crisis. We wish you to continue to stay safe um, and obviously um, we look forward to seeing you when it's appropriate. We will keep in touch with you um, through our letters and um, look to do some more um, vlogs. I've asked the board of directors to also to get engaged so you'll start to see some more activity from them through these virtual communications. But again, stay safe and thank you for all you do. Bye bye.